guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a fashion haul and oh my god i feel like literally it has been months since i filmed one of this since i actually went shopping because i mean can we just pause for a minute and think about like the old pandemic which is still going on in the world like you girl couldn't do like normal shopping and i'm not talking about like online shopping um which i did some of but it was like mostly skincare and hair type of product but what i'm talking about is going in a clothing store and just like shop oh my god i honestly missed that feeling so yeah into this video i'm gonna show you guys the bits that i got most of them were on sale which i'm so excited for um, and I'm also gonna, I guess, telling you a bit about my experience shopping with this like social distancing that we still need to do. So it's like the new normal shopping experience. But yeah, I guess that if you guys are interested to see what I got, you can just keep on watching. So I think we're gonna start off with this top that I'm wearing before I forget about it. Um, funny enough, this is actually like a swimsuit from Hollister. This is how it looks like. But I really recommend you guys to see if your local Hollister has it because honestly, it's fire. Uh, like I said, it's technically a bikini suit, like a bikini top, but for me, it's like a bit too long to be a bikini top. Although this one is like the perfect bralette to like go with my skirt, go with my shorts, which are also wasted. So I really love it. What can I say? And then I also got the matching bottom, which was also on sale. And I do think it's quite cute. Now, like I said, I definitely am not planning on going to the beach with this one because I mean, I feel like tanning wise, it definitely would not be ideal, but just in case, it was just like five pounds, so I decided to get the bottom as well. Then, moving on to the next thing that I got from Molly's there, I don't know why this one is white as well. Maybe I was going for like some sort of team without being aware of it, no idea. Um, but I basically got this beautiful white sweater, which I actually don't know if I film it or not. Um, but I literally tried this on the Oyster store, I think it was back in January and I really loved it, I really loved like, the details on the sleeves but then it was like £40 and I mean I don't know about you guys, you may go for it but like personally I'm not the type of person that spent like £40 pound on a hoodie but I got it on sale for like 50% off so I'm really excited about it um, it's definitely super white which is like something that I'm really scared of because I'm definitely really clumsy and if I eat something I'm definitely like most likely gonna get it on my clothes but you know I decided to buy anyway um, I do have some banish I do trust pink so I think the stain should disappear you know how they say but yeah got this one really really excited for it honestly i never used to shop at Hollister, and i feel like i'm quite impressed about the fact that now i'm shopping there reason being the prices were always a bit high for me um it's not that i could afford it just like i much rather spend my money on something else or just like buy more products which I know that it's like fast fashion in a way and some people are like against it um, I guess I'm not against it considering the number of all that I'm doing on this channel uh, but that's beside the point so yeah never really used to shop there but apparently now I'm a Lister fan so who would have thought <laughs> Okay, so the next item that I'm going to be showing you guys is from Zara. Once again, I don't think I own any single item from Zara besides this one. Uh, but like, look how cute this is. I definitely also put this on Yanger because I do not want this top to like get wrinkled and stuff. Oh my god, it's so pretty. This one's like not on sale at all. I pay like 20 bucks for it, which I guess is kind of a lot, but... I really love how it looks like. I honestly am freaking obsessed with it. It's like a side chain looking material, although it's no side chain, which I was really disappointed about, but it looks so good. And it's like, oh my god, like literally, I freaking love it. So, 
then moving on from a really high street brand to a really cheap one your girl definitely went to primark as well but like the only thing that i actually go from primark are just a couple of necessity and like literally free clothing item which i'm going to show you guys so the first thing is this teen top right here oh my goodness i honestly love the color this baby pink is like adorable it's such my pink it's like literally my perfect pink how many times did you say pink in a sentence who knows but yeah it's really lovely i love the spaghetti straps i love the crop i love the fit i really love this material as well and this was like literally just spray pounds so i'm probably gonna go back because i want one of these in white as well i just love this type of thing for summertime i think they're perfect then next up i got this pair of black leggings honestly i definitely needed a gay pair of leggings and those were just two pounds from the kids section now yes I do get my leggings from the kids section, okay? There's just something about them that's different. I think they're a lot like stretchier. The material is really nice, not like elastic -y looking like the other ones, just saying. And so I usually just go for like a 13, 14 year old size and those fit me like a glove, so. I mean, it could be like a life hack for you. Just go to like the kids section primer to get your leggings it's up to you and you also say 50p if you do that so then the last item that i got is this shirt right here i'm not really sure about it i thought i really like it first and now i'm like quite indecisive it's definitely not a color that i usually go for which is like why i decided to buy it but we'll see i don't know if i will return it or not i think it will look really good if i start to work again which i will apparently um not sure i'm excited for that but oh well the fourth lug definitely could last forever so that's fine um but yeah this is how it looks like i still think it's quite cute i don't know if i would like have a lot of wear out of it and so if it's like for fit to keep it or not um also talking just a bit about like the experience shopping while social distancing with other people um, something that I was like really scared of was doing like long queue outside and so like having to wait for like hours to get inside the shop um, and I went to Oxford Street the other day and it was honestly really easy I had no issue with that because it was literally just like in and out of the shop so I didn't have to like queue to get in which was honestly so nice because if there's something that I hate are queues so wait is that a girl for it? it is right? but yeah i really hate them so i'm really glad that i didn't had to go through that um something that i do miss though is like having the possibility to try the clothes on in a dressing room because i mean i know that some people like to try clothes on the comfort of their own um and then return them if they don't fit like freddie my love says but personally i was a type of person i would literally go in and out from the dressing room like 10 times because i wanted to make sure that i really like what i was gonna buy and i also wanted to make sure that i got the size right and so i would probably try like different size try different colors all of that stuff and we all know that you're only allowed to like bring in a couple of items and so yeah really 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 missed that oh by the way from primark i also got this sheet for my bedding uh it's literally the same exact one that i have but it's brand new and mine is super gross looking so i definitely need to change that and funny enough i got this on sale for just three pounds and it was like reduced from 60 50 which I was definitely not mad about that enough of me rumbling the next shop that I went to is H&M the first thing I'm gonna show you guys that is really out of my comfort zone is this petite looking dress um, so this is how it looks like it's quite short um, and it's like in a cotton material I'm not really sure how to feel about this it's really like out of my comfort zone but then I think it's like perfect for summertime and so I decided to give it a go it was quite inexpensive um, and I tried it on multiple times and I feel like every time that I was trying it I was like I like it but like there's just something about it that is like so off and so wrong 
and then I realized that it's the size of it and so I decided to like actually trim it and it's gonna look so nice once I do that which I wanted to do when my sewing machine was supposed to arrive because yes, spoiler alert I got one out of Amazon and I wanted to like film an unboxing and all that but apparently it's somehow lost so I'm not really sure if I will end up having a sewing machine or not but anyway I'm definitely gonna trim this one because that's just gonna make it perfect and I'm really really excited for that and then next up I also got this one right here so this one is yes another hoodie once again this one was on sale and I'm really really obsessed with this like mauve color um, it's honestly perfect it's so cozy and I think it's from like the training part of H&M or just like the fitness line and I really really like it and then next up I also got this bra right here which I don't know if it's weird to show you guys um, I will show you guys anyway because I think it's super super pretty it was also really inexpensive uh, once again it's this is really gorgeous baby pink it has some merlet in it and I also got matching bottom which looks like this um, is it weird to show under on the internet? Probably. Do I really care? No. So this is how it looks like and it's a nice little set. Next up I went to Bershka which is also the last shop and so from there I got this t-shirt right here which I honestly really like. Um, I'm afraid to tell you guys that my t-shirt face is still yet to vanish it's still here it's still holding strong so i got this one which i think looks really nice that up in a note and then i also got this other one right here which is cropped i actually wore this on a couple of picture on my instagram so i'm gonna link my instagram right here it says my underscore official if you guys want to check it out but yeah, I really, really love how oversized this one looks and I'm pretty sure this was on sale. Then the last thing that I got is this jean jacket right here, which when I first saw it on the shop, I fell in love with it. But then I was definitely debating on like returning it because I have like three jeans jackets already. One that is like literally in this is a color, one in pink and one in grey. So I don't really need another one, but then this one is like cropped. And this is like literally what sold me. I think I'm gonna keep it guys because I really love the look of a cropped jean jacket. So yeah. I mean let me know what you think in the comments because I do am open to suggestions. But yeah, for now I think I'm gonna keep it. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that I got, everything that I'm going to show you guys in this haul. Um, there are a couple more things that I want to buy that I have like my eyes on, and so just stay tuned I guess in the future for more hauls. Other than that, if you like this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for a brand new video every Friday, and a music related one every Tuesday, and of course, Tell me what you think in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!